What's up guys, this is U2 Fire Alarm 9200 and this is going to be a demonstration of the Simplex 4004 Fire Alarm Control Panel. And I just got this panel, haven't had it for very long, and I'm already excited to make videos on it. So first of all, there is a trouble on the system, that's the only trouble on it, which is the battery. Um, I know the battery trouble is just a um, D. <laughs> Not sure why that is, but we'll go ahead and open it up and give the panel a little look before we start it off. So yeah, as you can see, there's no batteries and it's missing the other half of the battery cable. Because a lot of the um, Simplex panels, um, their positive wire for the batteries had a fuse on it. I can't remember what the amperage rating for it was. Well, yeah, that's the only trouble on it. And by default, this is a two-zone panel, but you can actually expand this panel up to eight zones. So you can see I already have a zone card here, but it's not being used. Um, I believe you can do the same thing for NAX as well. But all I need are these two NAX right here. And plus, I also got a couple 4009s that I can use if I ever want to mount this up and build a system out of it but this will probably just remain as like a small little demo system so for devices that i have up to test this system is a faraday f1 gt chevron that does not have the label on it and a faraday 6120 this is one of my 6120s i have a couple others but I wanted to demonstrate this one. I feel I, this one sounds pretty good on the 4004. So, system is actually on March time because I like mechanical horns on March time. So, here we go. So yeah, if you saw that there, this is just something that a lot of the 4004s did when they were using 6120s or 9838 or 40 horns. For some reason, when you have them coded on March time, after a little bit, you, the display will kind of go crazy a little bit, and I'm not sure why that is. So we'll go ahead and reset the full station. It takes a really small hex key Let's see if that's nice and shut reset and I'll also go ahead and do continuous for y'all okay so to program this panel, it's actually quite simple. Pretty much the programming instructions are right here and you just gotta flip this dip switch. And then you're in programming, acknowledge, scroll down. E is your NAT programming. And on the travel ID number three is March time. I'm actually gonna change that to continuous, which is zero. Flip it again to get out. And we'll just wait for the battery trouble to come in. Acknowledge. And the treble LED is actually kind of interesting because it's right there. It's not even on the bezel. And I don't know why that is because I could have put a treble LED somewhere up here. So...
and it's that install bar. So we'll just wait for the panel to reset. And then that'll be it. All right, panel's reset. This actually resets pretty quick. It's a smaller Simplex panel. There's not much on it. I haven't in, um, added that zone expander card on it, and I don't really need it for anything. But I'll keep it in there just in case. But that is the demonstration of the Simplex 4004, and I'll have more videos coming on this system soon to come.